the tutorial on how to invert a matrix on your FX991 ES Plus. It only goes up to three by three matrices, but it's still helpful. So you press mode, then you press six for matrix. Now we're gonna pick a matrix. Let's do matrix A. The idea is that you can have multiple matrices because you could do matrix addition, multiplication, etc. In this case, we don't really care. And the first one, I'm gonna get the values. We're gonna do, oh, we're gonna do three by three. And it's gonna be two, one, zero. I pre computed this to make sure it is invertible, and of course, it has an inverse. And you basically go on, if you have zeros, you can kind of skip the rows with the arrows, or you just put it in zero, zero, three. The one problem is it doesn't show you the steps. Now you press enter, and it saves it. Now I'm gonna press on, and it looks like it clears it, but it doesn't actually clear the matrix because it's saved. Now you'll wanna click shift matrix, which is number four, and let's pick matrix a we want, so that happens to be three. And there's a inverse function or x to the negative one here. So we'll press x to the negative one, which usually means inverse function. And then it computes the inverse function, the inverse matrix. And if it's in decimal and you want it in, uh, and if you want it in uh, fractions, you press the S button and it switches so it's a half but it doesn't have enough space to put on so it does one dash two which is one over two so now that you see the result I'll compare it with the result on the website and I'll show you so you could see there's the final result which uh, is exactly what we saw on my calculator